Good evening. I want to talk to you today about how to put the service in customer service. Now, in order to do this, three things need to happen. The first thing that needs to happen is you need to always go above and beyond for your customer. The second thing that needs to happen is you always need to know your products inside and out. The third thing that needs to happen is you need to always thank your customer for doing business with your company. Now, here's what I'm talking about. Now, we have a guy by the name of Isaac and he's a big time exec and um, Isaac wants to take a little small vacation with his family, you know, in maybe two or three cities, I mean two or three states away. And Isaac decides to stay at this all-inclusive like resort it has like uh, uh, bowling alleys, like six-star restaurants, like movie theaters, anything you can imagine is inside this resort. So Isaac had read on the menu at this particular steakhouse inside the resort that they have every particular cut of steak known to man. So Isaac Mouse began to start salivating, okay? Now, moving the story forward. Now, Isaac and his family get to the resort, okay? Isaac's been working all week. Isaac comes out. Isaac has a pocket full of money, okay? And he's ready to spend every dime of the money that's in his pocket, okay? So him and his family go inside the resort, okay? Isaac had his mouth set on this tomahawk steak. So Isaac walks in, he gets a table, him and his family, and the waitress comes over, and Isaac's, you know, family begins ordering their entrees, and then the waitress gets around to Isaac, and the waitress says, hey, uh, how can I, what, what can I get you today, sir? And Isaac is like, yes, ma'am, let me get the uh, tomahawk steak, please. Now just imagine how Isaac is going to feel if the waitress says something like this. Um, yes, sir, um, I'm sorry, we don't have a tomahawk steak on the menu. Then Isaac will say something to the extent of, well, you said you have every cut of steak known to man. I've been fantasizing about a tomahawk steak for the last three days now. I've seen your menu online, said you have every cut of steak known to man, but you don't have the tomahawk cut steak. And so the waitress is like, eh, no, we don't have it, but uh, like what we have, sir, is on the menu. Uh, what would you like? Now just imagine how that made Isaac feel, first of all. And then second of all, imagine if Isaac was like, you know what, fuck it. I don't even want to eat here no more. You know, his wife and kids and everybody else has already put their order in. Now just imagine if Isaac was like, eh, I don't want to eat here no more because I had my mouth set on a tomahawk steak, okay? Now, let's change up the picture. Now, when we change up the picture, we're going to use the three-step philosophy right here, which is go above and beyond for the customer, know your products inside and out, and thank the customer for doing business. Now, we're going to run this same scenario back, and we're going to use this three-step philosophy to put the service in customer service, to change Isaac's entire experience around for the positive. Now, here we go. Now, Isaac and his family comes in. Isaac got a pocket full of money. They come in, they get a table. Waitress comes over, takes Isaac's family's order. Waitress gets around to Isaac. Yes, sir, what can I get you today? Uh, yeah, let me get a tomahawk steak. Oh, uh, we don't have the tomahawk cut steak ribeye, sir, but we have another ribeye in stock right now, but we don't have the tomahawk steak. I'm so sorry, sir. And Isaac says something to the extent of, well, you advertise on your menu online. I've been fantasizing about this steak for the last four days now, and now I get here and you don't have it. Now just imagine how good it is to make Isaac feel if the waitress says something like this, if the waitress actually put the service in service. If the waitress was like, okay, sir, I apologize about that. No, we don't have the particular tomahawk cut of ribeye in stock right now, but Give me a second here. Let me go and talk to my head chef and we're going to take really good care of you. So the waitress goes to the back and then the waitress lets the head chef know what's going on. The head chef approves everything and then the waitress goes back out and tells Isaac, yes, sir. Um, so I spoke with my head chef and my head chef said, if you don't mind, can you and your family come back here tomorrow night at eight o'clock uh, sharp and we'll have something specifically for you, sir. Isaac is going to look at the waitress like, okay, eight o'clock sharp. The waitress is going to say, yes, sir, eight o'clock sharp. Now, 
Isaac, you know, he finds something that's on the menu to eat. He's very happy. Isaac spent two or three hundred dollars on this particular sit down right here. Now, Isaac gets out the restaurant. He leaves and him and his family goes out, you know, happy and giddy up and stuff like that. And they go out and live life. Now, after Isaac leaves, the waitress goes in the back and tells the head chef, OK, yes, sir, they'll be here at eight o'clock. The head chef tells the waitress, do me a huge favor, run down to Stu Leonard's and go and get me a tomahawk steak because we want our customers to take a crunch of the steak and hit that yum. That's what we want. So you have to go down to Stu Leonard's and get their tomahawk, okay, specifically. Now, the waitress on her own time goes down, Stu Leonard's, get the tomahawk steak, brings it back for the chef. So the next day, Isaac and his family come back to the uh, resort's restaurant, to the Six Star Steakhouse. And then imagine how good Isaac is going to feel when he comes in and he and his family, you know, place the order. And then Isaac is sitting there and a big ass Fred Flintstone tomahawk steak comes out to him. The waitress brings him up tomahawk steak. Isaac is going to be blown away. He's going to be like, oh, holy shit. Like you, you, you got a tomahawk steak. I thought you didn't have this on the menu. Well, sir, we don't. But. We got this specifically for you because we value you as a customer. And I felt bad yesterday when we did not have what you had wanted. I know you've been, you know, thinking about it and, you know, your mouth was salivating about it, sir. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you had exactly what you wanted. Now, if you don't mind, would you mind cutting into it and let me know uh, if this is the, the particular way how you would like it cooked? Let me know what you think about it. Then Isaac cuts into the steak, bites it. And he says, "Yum! this is perfect. Thank you so, so, so much. Now, what do you think Isaac is going to do? The next time Isaac is in this particular state right here, what do you think he's going to stay? He's going to stay at this particular resort. Now, when he comes back to this resort, what's the first restaurant you think he's going to come back to? This six star steakhouse. Why would Isaac come back to a $250 per plate steakhouse on his next staycation basically and spend this kind of money because the way how the waitress made him feel the waitress put the service in service you know the waitress knew her products inside and out she knew that a tomahawk steak was just a particular bigger cut of a ribeye she knew that and she thanked isaac for you know patronizing the business she hit all three of these markers right here now Let's look beyond Isaac. Now just imagine when Isaac gets back to the office, he's recharged, he's refreshed, and he sits in his chair, and one of his secretaries comes in and like, oh, Isaac, uh, you look relaxed, you know, did you and your family have a good vacation? And Isaac is like, oh yeah, Molly, Whew. we had a really good vacation. We stayed at this uh, resort, it's called blah, 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 and inside of blah, blah, blah was a steakhouse called Element OP. Oh my God, Molly, you have to go there. Oh my God, please look, when you go there, ask for a waitress by the name of Demetria and she's gonna be there and everything. So, oh my God, it's gonna be the best experience. It's gonna make your mouth go yum, Molly. Like, it's, it's, it's a great, phenomenal experience. Now, let's look even beyond the restaurant. Now, even though the head chef and the waitress was the ones who actually made Isaac and his family happy, okay? So those two were the ones who actually put the service in the, the, the service. But who do you think is going to get the real gist of the whole service? The resort. Because they're going to be guilty by association. Because this restaurant inside of their establishment took really good care of the customer. Now this is the restaurant's customer, not the resort's customer. The restaurant's customer, but the resort would get the brunt of the positive kickback from the customer because the customer, Isaac, is gonna go on Yelp, Google reviews, or you know, one of those platforms like that, and he's gonna leave a phenomenal review about the resort. Man, me and my family for the 4th of July, we stayed at resort, X, Y, L, M, N, O, P over in da, 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 da spot. Man, like this is a phenomenal place. Really good restaurant. The restaurant was called X, Y, Z. Man, phenomenal steaks, phenomenal service. They go above and beyond. 
Now just imagine if Isaac is an exec, imagine how many other people that he can influence to come to this particular resort and the steakhouse just because the head chef and the waitress put the service in service. Now, that about wraps it up for today's video. Until next time, I'll catch you later.